when the narcissist gets old. Narcissists often depend on their appearance or intelligence to seduce their targets. They have to be impressive or imposing in appearance or style. They have to display a high rank or social importance, magnificent features or qualities. They depend on these things to lure in their targets. As the narcissist gets older, they begin to lose their physical attractiveness. They begin to lose their intelligence. They are no longer as impressive or imposing in appearance or style as they once might have been. They are no longer of great significance or value in society. This might affect their ability to direct or influence the behavior of others or the course of events. They are no longer useful. They are no longer able to be used for a practical purpose. They no longer have the ability fitness or quality necessary to do or achieve a specified thing which means that they are no longer desirable they are no longer wished for as being attractive or useful it makes it very difficult for them to obtain narcissistic supply they can no longer get the attention or admiration that they once used to get. They are no longer attended to or admired. They are no, no longer regarded with respect or warm approval or looked at as something impressive or attractive. Narcissists need narcissistic supply. They need to be attended to. They need to be admired. They need to be regarded as something desirable or useful. As they get older and begin to struggle in obtaining their supply, it produces an inability to cope. It is very difficult for them to cope or deal with the situation. They develop very poor coping strategies, which may include alcohol or drugs. They are trying to escape from reality. They don't want to deal with their problems. They have done so many things to people, burned bridges and experienced a lot of failures and non-fulfillment, lost opportunities. They begin to regret a lot of the decisions that they have made in the past. It preoccupies or fills their mind continually and to a troubling extent. They obsess over all of the things that went wrong for them. They experience stress, anxiety and depression. They stop taking care of, themse of themselves. They isolate themselves and become even more antisocial as they age. They don't want to be around people anymore because they don't think they're good enough for anyone. They no longer view themselves as being impressive or attractive. They become envious of the youth. People who they might consider to be more impressive or attractive than they are. Now that they are aging. Now that they are getting old and losing their physical attractiveness and intelligence. As they get older, they will turn to some form of drug or addiction. They will turn to something to distract them from reality as a form of escapism. Whether it's alcohol, drugs, gambling, eating, gaming, pornography, or even a person. 
They can obsess over and be addicted to a person as a form of escapism. Whatever their addiction may be, they are trying to escape from reality. They are trying to distract themselves from how they feel inside. Because all of their past failures, feelings of shame and regret are now catching up with them. But they don't feel bad for you. They don't regret what they've done to you. It's more about them feeling sorry for themselves and the consequences of where their actions have led them to be. They are still preoccupied with themselves, still self-absorbed with no care or consideration for anyone else. They never take into consideration the effects or consequences of their actions because they are not responsible. They do not respond to the best of their ability. They never hold themselves accountable for their actions which means that they never learn from their mistakes or grow or develop. They deny their faults and mistakes and shift the blame onto the people around them, which leaves them blind to the inevitable consequences of their actions, which they never see coming as they were never accountable for their actions. They never accepted the blame. And as they were never responsible, they never responded to the best of their ability so they are left in a very weak, vulnerable position where all they can do is accept the results of their actions. This is where their past failures and feelings of shame and regret begin to catch up with them. But they don't want to deal with reality. They don't want to accept the truth. So they turn to addictions, alcohol, drugs, or they find someone else to abuse. Whatever it takes to numb the pain of their failures and where their actions have led them to be. The narcissist gets worse with with age. They begin to turn against everyone. They become more malignant and sadistic, deriving pleasure from inflicting pain, suffering or humiliation onto others. They become very angry, bitter and disappointed at what they perceive to be unfair treatment. They experience even more anger and aggression. If they had any limited empathy or care or consideration for you in the past, it diminishes. They become completely heartless, unsympathetic, unkind, uncaring, unloved, unloving, unmoved, displaying a complete lack of feeling or consideration for you. As they get older, they get worse and worse because they can't find a way out of the undesirable situation. They have done so many things to ruin what they once had. They have gone too far to compensate for their faults or bad aspects. And they realize that they cannot compensate for their past poor performance or behavior. They cannot make amends for their sins or errors and regain possession of what they once had. They realize that they have gone too far to ever go back. So they become even more full of anger and aggression. They don't care what happens. They don't care about the consequences of of their actions. Because they've gone too far to fix things now. They become even more self-absorbed. They have no care or consideration for anyone because they know that nothing they can do can fix the situation. 
They know that they're doomed or predestined to live the rest of their lives in misery and pain, never finding true happiness or fulfillment. So they begin to scheme and plot. They become more predatory and calculating. They become more clever at achieving their aims by indirect or deceitful methods. Their main focus becomes to sabotage and destroy you. Because at this point, they realize and begin to accept that their lives are worthless, useless. They realize and accept that they have no ability or skill. Their lives are not fulfilling and they begin to lose hope. They begin to lose their hope and expectations of achieving their intended purpose or desired outcome. Focusing on anything in their own lives becomes pointless. They see no sense, use or purpose in focusing on their own lives and trying to develop an ability or skill. They realize and accept that they are not going to find happiness or fulfillment in their own lives. And their way of thinking and processing is why should anyone else experience happiness or fulfillment? Why should you have what you want? Why should you be happy? If they are doomed or predestined to be miserable and never get the intended purpose or desired outcome that they want, they begin to lose any care or consideration for you being satisfied or fulfilled or you getting what you want, you getting your desired outcome. And not only do they lose any care or consideration for that, but they will even go out of their way to sabotage any attempts that you might make to achieve your desired outcome. Any achievements or progress you might make, they will try to destroy it. Because at this point, they have lost all hope and expectations in themselves getting what they want or achieving their desired outcome. So their thought process is, why should you be happy? Why should you be fulfilled? If they will never get what they want, if they will never get their de desired outcome, they become envious and jealous very hateful, anger and bitter and they consciously and intentionally plot to sabotage anything that you're doing, anything that you're trying to achieve because at this point they accept their fate, they accept what is destined to happen, they accept the inevitable result of the remainder of their lives as being out of their control. They accept that they, they are not going to be anything valuable or important to, to anyone else. The narcissist develops more evil and manipulative ways of being. They target people who are easier to victimize. People who are easier to single out for cruel or unjust treatment. Easier sources of supply that will attend to them and admire them. But they are also anticipating the destruction of that new source. As the narcissist gets older and becomes elderly, they will become less aggressive. They will become less likely to attack or confront you. But everything else stays the same. They become more covert only because they know that they are no longer as impressive or imposing as they once were. They no longer have the energy to go out and target new sources of supply. So they become less aggressive. But they will be more self-absorbed, more manipulative 
more exploitative. They might try to act as though everything is okay and they are happy. They have this sense of pride and arrogance, this consciousness of, the, of their own dignity, where they have to act in a way as though everything is fine. But inside, they are very sad, stressed, anxious, depressed. And if you let them around you, they will infect your state of happiness or joy. Energy, whether positive or negative, is very contagious. It can spread or transfer from one person to another. So be very careful if you choose to go around them, as it will bring you down with them. You will begin to feel stressed, anxious and depressed, because energy is contagious. Energy can be transferred from one person to another. As the narcissist gets older, they become more negative, more dissatisfied. They always have something negative to say. They will turn to some form of drug in an attempt to escape from reality. But that only causes more problems for them as they become dependent. It produces an inability for them to rely or depend on themselves. They become even more incapable of doing anything on their own without some form of aid or component. And when that is taken away, or it's no longer as effective as it once was, it makes them even worse. As the narcissist gets older, they get worse and worse. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsforvercoaching at gmail.com Check out the merchandise in the Narcsforver store where you can purchase your own Narcsforver t-shirt, tank top or mug. The link is in the video description. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.